this is a, a farmed salmon handed to us today um, by an angler who when he when he caught it he wasn't certain what he'd caught although I think he had a gut feeling it was a farmer um, he phoned me, sent me a video call I looked at it on the video call and I said yeah kill it it's a farmer and there's some key indicators there um, we'll just try and point them out to you the pectoral fin you can see it's ragged slightly ragged but it's also slightly deformed here on this leading edge you can see there's a bit of deformity there the dorsal's a giveaway you can see the ragged dorsal here and the the, the tail is slightly ragged in the edges this one here is not too bad there's a bit of raggedness on the edge same in the pelvic fins slightly ragged in the edge but all in all this is a very difficult farmed salmon to distinguish from a wild salmon unless you look for these key features. I think for many anglers uh, in the heat of the moment this could be a difficult fish to distinguish from a wild fish. So we're just going to take some scales and I want to show you where to take scales from. If you take the line of the back of the dorsal fin here to the lateral you come in the middle there. That area there is this prime place, that's the oldest scales on the fish. And to take scales, take a blunt knife or a blunt instrument. If you just work that area there, there's scales coming off, loads of them. Now you wouldn't want to take that many with a wild fish, but we can we can look at scales from wild fish for you. That's more than enough. So there might be 10, 15 scales on the tip of that knife. Um, and we can clean them up a bit, put them on a microscope. Um, and age it, distinguish whether it's farmed or wild. Um, we'll be able to tell all that from from the, the scales. Yeah, they're there, I'll just put them there to dry off a wee bit just now. So this fish, this fish turned up two weeks after the Caradale escape and it was caught in the River Irvine. Um, had it been a wild fish it would have been put back but uh, the angler was keen not to make a mistake. This is an extremely good looking farmed salmon. Um, it's probably the best one I've seen I have to say. They're getting better at producing these fish or not the fish that we used to see. So hopefully now you can look at any salmon you catch and tell a wild and farmed fish apart. If you do get scales from a fish that you want us to check, send them to Ayrshire Rivers Trust. Uh, we'll be very happy to look at them. We'd like a photo too with them if you could, so you can send that to info at AyrshireRiversTrust.org. Post them to Ayrshire Rivers Trust, 1 Gibbs Yard, Auchincrove, Air, KA65HW. And you can give us a call to let us know 01292 737 300 but we're not always in the office and we're about to move office soon so that's another problem coming up. Um, or you can get Stuart through Facebook Messenger. You can get in touch with us and we'll be happy to look at scales for you. If you do kill a, a farmed salmon you should not eat it. This fish will be going in the bin. It really should just be knocked in the head, make sure it's dead and then slip it back into the river and allow it to decompose within the river. It puts nutrient back into the river. Um, these things have been treated with sea lice treatments. You shouldn't eat fish with chemicals in them. That's our advice. You do not eat these fish if you catch them. Anyway, I hope this helps anglers. We'll put some uh, photos up now of the scales um, under the microscope and let you see them. It's very difficult to be precise, but this is called the focus where you can see the, the tip of the needle now. And this is all growth out to the edge of the scale. The thing we're looking for here is diff different winters and distinguishing features in the, the scale. There's just nothing there that distinguishes seasonal variations in growth patterns as you get in wild fish. Not even from the juvenile years. Normally, in at the focus here and around the focus, we would be able to see the fry and par years. Neither can we see any um, increase in growth um, at smultiplication or its first year at sea. 
and you don't see signs of a winter which we normally see about here where the needle is um, just not no sign that it's anything but a farmed fish it's all very uniform growth and the reason we don't see any distinction in the growth rings um, is because it's pellet fed and it's fed the same food day after day and it grows consistently well throughout the year there's no difference from one day to the next this is a, a sample that was sent to us and an example of how not to send a, a scale sample it's a flesh sample with scales attached if you look at the back you can see you can see pink flesh still on it um, this was from a farmed fish caught in the stincher on Saturday are believed to be farmed and we'll have a look at that now and work it out but we're going to have to open this up it's a few days old it'll be stinking would have been better wrapped up in a bit of kitchen roll like we did with the the urban fish I've showed you that just take the scales out wipe them onto a bit of kitchen roll fold it up in kitchen roll and post this like that in an envelope because when we get them like this this is not really the best way to preserve scales and it's not that pleasant to deal with this is from the stincher fish and again you can see from the the focus in the center of the scale heading to the outside edge there's absolutely uniform growth there's no no distinction between seasons or rates of growth it's just constantly getting food and growing at the same rate this has just been fed the whole of its life and that confirms this is a, a farmed salmon again i hope that's been helpful to anglers that um, are interested in what we're looking for in scale samples um, and hopefully understand what we can see uh, from scales a wee bit better and how we distinguish them you know a wild fish from a, a farmed fish we appreciate all the scales we get and look forward to to receiving an awful lot more if, if these uh, escapees from Canada will turn up in our rivers uh, please do send them it's going to help us uh, fight the wild fish corner in the long run okay i think we'll leave it at that but uh, thanks for watching uh we hope you enjoyed it you know some people may wonder what we did with it i've heard comments saying if i catch one i'm eating it we wouldn't eat it there it's there i have a cat and dog i wouldn't feed it to them um it's going in the bin